Okay, um, this video is about how to customize Debian 9 Mate October 18, 2017. This video, I will speak some Portuguese and some English, but it's gonna be just music in the background. I'm gonna do it slowly to show how you can customize that this desktop environment. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is to have some music to have some music in the background here and uh, I will start change the wallpaper and then uh, customize the panel change the icons and uh, twist out the themes <clears throat> the team that we're going to use here, you open the, the uh, click here on system. You're going to open Synaptic pa uh, Package Manager. So we're going to do first, I'm going to add this to the panel. Right click and add to the panel. Um, so I'm gonna have some music. Some, first, I'm gonna add uh, show just how to add uh, two things here to the panel. So I will have the music in the background.
I'm going to show here different ways you can customize your desktop. So uh, you can hide this panel. I don't recommend deleting the panels. I just recommend to hide the panels. You right click on the panel, go to pro properties. And then what you're going to do here, you can select the auto hide. If you click here on the left, on the right here where the mouse is, on the left here, you can hide the you can hide the panels. Uh, what I recommend to do, I recommend to install. Uh, uh, I recommend to install uh, Docky. Make a shortcut on the on the desktop and uh, uh, on the panel. So what I'm going to do here, if you want to use Docky. You should hide this first. Oh, you to to use Docky, you don't need to hide this. I'm gonna keep it without. Uh, first, I'm gonna double click here to add the Docky. You hide it first. There is a uh, on the I made a video on how to install Compass, so I'm gonna enable Compass here. For the bag with compass here, sometimes it does it does not work. Let's see if I can make it work. Anyway, uh, you can use Docky, you, you can use Cairo Doc. Somehow, uh, <coughs> actually, let me. You can install Cairo Doc. First of all, let me show how you can move these things around here. If you if you like to have the the panel here on the right side on the left side here left side click here like I said there is a am I gonna have to restart the I 
I'm going to have to restart Compass to to the effects to work. But anyway, uh, you can move this. Uh, I did crash the. There is a bug here that uh, it crash the the compass. It did crash the compass. And it's not showing the, the the desktop switch here. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm going to show a different dock. I'm going to show how to install uh, Okay, <clears throat> so you have to remove the icons here, but you can have multiple panels. I'm just showing that you can have this in the the panel on different location here. I like to have it on the top.
Okay, so to use Skyler Dock, I recommend to select the sh the hide button here. Click hide here. And uh, you hide this here. Uh, before you hide this one here, make a shortcut on the desktop. Go to application. Go to application. Uh, see the kind of dock here. Right click. Add to the desktop. Double click to open it. So you're gonna hide this first. Hide everything. With Caradoc, there is different. Um, With Caradoc, there is dif uh, different uh, ways to It's kind of dog that is uh, different desktop, um, that is different themes. You right click somewhere here, anywhere here on the dock. Go to configure. There's different uh, themes here. One of the themes that I like very much here. Uh, let's see here. Here it looks cool. So select, you can try, I have a video on showing how to use each. Uh, I have a review of, with Caradoc. So you select the desktop you want to use, click apply here. Click, click accept This desktop here, this um, this thing from Caradoc is very nice. If you want to install software, or if you want to make a shortcut of the I'm gonna use one that I like uh, a lot which is the light gray here i like very much this
So this one here, this this is one of my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna delete this. I will leave it like this. This is just to show here the desktop uh, with the, with the color dock, and uh, you can add the uh, application to it. So, uh, to, uh, to quit kind of dock, right click, select quit. So uh, both the docky and the color dock works very well. Uh, the computer crash here, and that's what I with the docky looks good. Uh, with the works very well with compass, but it did crash. And I have to restart the system. I have to log out and log in back again. But I'm recording the video, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, anyway, I like to have this mate 1.16.2 and I'm going to do, um, I prefer the GNOME 2 like interface. So I'm going to do, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave the GNOME 2 interface like this. And this is going to be um,
There's a bug in the with Debian. Show true super screen equality. Okay, uh, <coughs> so uh, for now, uh, uh, <coughs> Compiz works very well, uh, but it did crash with me here. And uh, but anyway, uh, uh, you can use uh, Cairo Doc works very well with the with the with the main desktop environment. You can use Cairo Doc or you can use uh, Docky. If you don't, I sometimes I like to use the the, the Doc. That's the, the reason why I like to have the uh, shortcut on the on the desktop. I can switch between them. And uh, uh, so my next video is gonna be uh, I'm gonna do a review with uh, the mate desktop with, uh, with the Debian 92.9.2 and uh, <clears throat> I will have this icon for now but I will change it on uh, my next video so if you like this video please share subscribe and like the video and I'll see you on the next video